my beloved child, in the heart of your struggles, I stand as your unwavering guardian, ready to wage a valiant battle on your behalf. The serenity you yearn for is closer than you think. I sense the weariness that has wrapped its arms around you, my precious child. Amidst life's tempestuous waves, you've shown unyielding courage, but I see your strength faltering. Now, a moment of divine grace has arrived, inviting you to release your ceaseless striving and let me champion your cause. I fully grasp the weight of this step for you. It seems necessary to keep pushing forward, to endure against all odds. Yet, in this very moment, I extend my hand to guide you into my care. I toil tirelessly on your behalf. Therefore, find peace and acknowledge my presence beside you. Calm may elude your restless heart, and quieting the storms of your mind might seem insurmountable. In your quest for emotional security, you've relied heavily on your own thoughts. Your determined pursuit of control has elevated your intellect to an independent realm. Yet, you're in need of the gentle touch of my Holy Spirit. Call upon Him to guide your thoughts, wrapping you in solace from your core. Find moments to rest within the shadow of the Almighty while I fight on your behalf. Don't be surprised by the fierce battles within your mind. When seeking me and my serenity feels like a struggle, don't let despair take root. You're embroiled in spiritual warfare of great magnitude. Dark forces resent your closeness to me, and their sinister agents are determined to sever our profound connection. Amidst this turmoil, when you feel overwhelmed, utter my name, Jesus, come to my aid. In that very instant, the battle shifts into my domain. Your role is simply to trust me as I contend on your behalf. My name, when invoked with reverence, holds boundless power to bless and protect. As the culmination of existence draws near, every being shall bow, whether in the celestial sphere, on Earth's surface, or beneath it, as the resounding proclamation of my name echoes. Even those who once used Jesus carelessly shall bow in dread during that divine reckoning. And those who've treated you unkindly shall be humbled. Pray for them, for perhaps they'll repent and change their ways. Then they shall be forgiven, and I'll lead them back to my path. It's my decision that those who've taken from you shall return what they've stolen. You'll be amazed as those who once hurt you now stand before you, regretful tears in their eyes. I'm here to bring justice to you. That's why I ask you to replace resentment with prayers for them. Your victory has been ordained, and I don't want you to worry any longer. Both you and your family will be greatly blessed. A wise person recognizes evil but steps away, avoiding disputes that aren't theirs to fight. You've already faced your own troubles and trials. Therefore, avoid entangling yourself in the provocations of the wicked. Focus on your family's well-being and work to improve your financial situation. Dedicate time to prayer and reflection on my teachings. Don't waste your energy on trivial pursuits. The challenges I allow in your life aren't insurmountable. Indeed, you can face, conquer, and surpass them. Cling to my promises in the midst of the struggle, believing that I cherish you and have control over all things. With this faith, Victory is already yours. Each day, rise with determination and trust. Keep moving forward, for no force or entity can hinder your progress. You'll eventually reach your destination, and your journey toward triumph begins with each dawn prayer. I understand how difficult it can be to believe and surrender everything into my hands, especially when it feels like I'm silent in response to your pleas. Push aside those thoughts and immerse yourself in my teachings. Engage in prayer, reflect, and see the blessings that surround you. In times of struggle, I'll come to illuminate your path. I'll lift your tired arms, offer you rest, and strengthen your faith. My promises will be etched on your heart, like honey from the rock and sustenance from the finest wheat. You will be nourished. Stay connected with me. Don't ignore my calls when I wake you and invite you to converse in the early hours. Don't muffle my voice with your pillow, and don't squander your mornings on trivial distractions. Give priority not to notifications that steal your time and desire for prayer. 
Summon your courage and be strong. Let go of anything that drains your energy. As the first light enters your room, bend your knees and present your petitions. Offer your prayers as offerings. And if your strength falters, seek my help. From this day forward, blessings will flow to you. No harm others plan for you will reach its mark. For you are in my presence and I am within you. United, we shall never be defeated. Stray not from my teachings, for I will never abandon you. Remember that you are my beloved child, and my blessings will shower upon you today, tomorrow, and forever. Though your challenges may seem overwhelming, I'm asking for a moment of your time. Just close your eyes and listen. I'm placing my right hand upon your head. I cleanse your soul of worry. Flowing from my throne is a river of living water that washes away fear. Despite the adversaries surrounding you, I grant you peace. Your destiny is held in my hands, and your current situation is not your final destination. Remember my healing words that restore your body and ease your mind. You will rise from the pit of despair, transformed. My Holy Spirit embraces and elevates you, shielding you from harm. Those who oppose you are aware of the supernatural blessing I've bestowed upon you. With this divine gift, you'll conquer the world's challenges. Today, I'm renewing your purpose and vision. Henceforth, you'll see life through a different lens. No longer will you lack motivation or be disheartened. Anxiety will not dominate you when circumstances grow complex. I'm giving you the wisdom to fight these battles so that defeat will never rule your emotions again. I am with you. You are profoundly blessed. Use the beautiful gifts I've given you for the greater good. Treat those around you with kindness, especially those who've supported your journey. Remember that not all your achievements stem solely from your own abilities. Many have lent you a helping hand, opening doors and offering opportunities. I, too, have shielded you from hidden dangers, thieves, and afflictions. You've come this far with my guidance, but I've also placed individuals in your path to share blessings with you. If you want your gifts, talents, and possessions to multiply, extend your kindness to those people. Even those you've never met find ways to do good without seeking personal gain. Having received abundant blessings, now is the time to give back and show gratitude. I want you to be a vessel of my love. You understand my intention, you know what I mean. Go forth and help those individuals in your thoughts and watch how I continue to bless you. Each act of gratitude will lead to the multiplication of your gifts and talents. I will open the windows of heaven and shower blessings from above. This beautiful attitude of recognizing others' contributions will not only bring you emotional and financial freedom, but also break the chains of debt in your life. I will provide you with opportunities, multiply your talents, and guide you to ventures. I will make you a beacon of wisdom. People will seek your counsel, and you will share the source of your prosperity. These are the tools I offer you to triumph in trials and overcome your adversaries and tribulations. My word, your faith, and your prayers, these are your weapons. Your heart, filled with gratitude, will light your way. Embrace what you hear and see how you start living from victory to victory, even in a world plagued by storms. Though turmoil may surround you, sweetness will stand by your side, and countless shall gather beside you without harm. Evil will not touch you. With your own eyes, you will witness the retribution that befalls the wicked. However, your family, your children, and all those you hold dear will be richly blessed. I will erase thoughts of poverty and attitudes of lethargy. I will ignite within you a renewed zeal to grow, learn, and pursue careers that bring prosperity to humanity. Those who love and follow me are like trees planted by streams of water bearing fruit in due season, and their leaves will not wither. This truth has held throughout time. So, in these challenging days, do not conform to the world's perspective. 
while others foresee defeat and predict disaster. I've instilled in you the strength and determination to triumph, even in the midst of societal turmoil. You will stand firm in this tempest. Your face will radiate, for I am lifting you up today, that you may carry the banner of victory. Those who oppose you will forever be put to shame. You will know tranquility and peace, even when battles rage and fear and anxiety try to engulf your soul. All such disturbances will fade away, replaced by a divine sense of well-being. In the midst of life's storms, when the weight of the world threatens to crush you, remember that I am here. When doubt creeps in and fear tries to take hold, remember that my love is unwavering. When you're uncertain about the path ahead, remember that I am the light that will lead you. As you journey through this world, know that you are cherished beyond measure. Every tear you shed is seen. Every whisper of your heart is heard. Your dreams are important to me and your struggles do not go unnoticed. I am your constant companion, your guiding star, your unwavering anchor. My dear child, trust in me. Embrace the journey I have set before you, even in the face of challenges, uncertainties, and trials. Hold on to the knowledge that you are loved with a love that surpasses all understanding. I am with you, today and always, holding you close in the embrace of my love. Breathe deeply and savor the fresh courage I'm imparting to you today. Know that I love you. Amen. As we come to the end of this journey, I hope these words have touched your heart and ignited a spark within you. If you've found inspiration and comfort in what you've heard, I invite you to join our community. Subscribe to our channel so that together we can continue to embrace hope, faith, and positivity. If this message has resonated with you, or if you have your own experiences to share, please leave a comment below. Your thoughts and stories not only enrich our discussions, but also create connections that uplift us all. Remember, you're never alone on this path. Let's walk hand in hand, supporting one another, and spreading the light that emanates from within. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Subscribe, comment, and stay connected. Until we meet again, take care and keep shining brightly.